you've got a dog with some serious anxiety around sports games, hey, perhaps even the World Cup. She hates, she shakes, she hides, she trembles. Like, is there something you can do quickly, easily at home that's gonna help them? You bet there is. In this video, I'm gonna show you the top three things you can be using now. Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click down there to subscribe, click somewhere beside it to sign up for notifications. And lastly, when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you my free book and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies. As a few of you guys probably know, uh, the World Cup's been happening. Congrats to France for winning it all. But if you are a soccer or football fan and you're pretty passionate, that's what happens. People score, they shoot. You yell. Problem with all that, if you've got an anxious dog who's really sensitive to noise, such as I, I mean, it just causes a whole host of problems. No Tula, no Tula, where is Tula? Not in the kitchen, not beside the kitchen, not in the living room. Where is that dog? A trembling mess. You're a mess. You're a mess. So little Tula, she hates loud noise and she definitely hates soccer games. So, so there's three things I want to show you guys that are pretty quick and easy. You could try immediately for whatever thing that's going to start your dog off with anxiety, be it, say it's a thunderstorm. The first thing, acupressure, and I've showed you in the past, I'm going to show you once again. It doesn't seem to work super well with Tula, it may help your own dog though. So it's called here the Ying Tang Point, and it's right in here, just here right below her, in between her eyes, just at the base of her muzzle. And... You can hold that moderate pressure. You're going to hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. It's okay, little Tula. And sometimes just the act of the touch can be enough to just sort of calm your dog, you know, and decrease some of those anxiety symptoms. Hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. You know, if it seems like it's helping, by all means, go ahead and repeat that in 15 minutes. The second one is this herbal tincture. It's called valerian. Of all the, the different herbal remedies for anxiety, it's the one that's going to work the fastest. I think it's going to have the most effect with Tula, any other dog that's going to have similar noise anxiety, noise phobias going on. When we're looking at a valerian dose, we're looking at about half a mil to one mil of the tincture per 20 pounds of body weight. You want to make sure you shake it really well, which I'm doing here. And, you know, with little Tula, based on her weight of about... 20 pounds. I'm going to give her, there's different marks on the tinctures, but that's about a half a mil of the dropper. Tula. There we go. Ah. There. Tula's not super crazy about the tincture, primarily because it's got the ethanol base to it. Ideally, you could get one with a, a glycerol base would be better. It's going to be far easier to give to your dog. But as far as, you know, an immediate remedy, the herbal one, no question. Valerian is most effective. It's more likely it's gonna just, you know, take away some of that anxiety, just making it much more pleasant for your own, your dog. The third thing is a type of wrap. Uh, we're actually putting uh, some some piece of fabric around your dog. Uh, there is a, a, a specific brand called the Thunder Shirt. We're actually using the same principle as us swaddling a baby. And what it does is it's one, it's coming in, it's touching your dog. It's giving them more a, a protected feeling or sense as it does with um, the small babies. It's possible that it's touching some of the key acupressure points, but regardless, a number of dog owners re um, report that it works really, really well for their dogs. It just totally makes a huge difference, say for instance, with thunderstorms. So, but you can make something like a, your own thunder shirt at home. I'm going to try it on Tula, see how it works and maybe you can consider this as well as sort of third option. So something like a scarf or a big wide sort of stretchy bandage um, they may use on, say for your knee or something. 
But regardless, if you got a scarf, great. You want to sort of even space it, even length, cross it just underneath uh, the base of your, of the, your dog's neck. Then you're going to wrap it around and we're going to go underneath her armpits like this. Moderate pressure because you want to make it snug. And then wrap it around again, lastly, up just in, in front of your dog's rear legs underneath their groin. And then, you know, make it snug enough that it's going to give a little bit of pressure and to tie a little knot in it. Okay, Tula, there it is. Your nicely wrapped undershirt. Are you a bit calmer? Well, she's shaking a lot less. And that was pretty easy to make. I mean, you just got this little scarf out of the closet. It took all of two seconds. Wow. Your homie little thunder shirt. Good girl. So in the next big sporting event or anything that's going to trigger Tula anxiety, I'm going to try this. I'll let you guys know how it works. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. I'd love for you to click down there to like this video. Click over there to subscribe to my channel. And lastly, when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you my free book and my free videos. And I heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.